Hello friends, my name is Paru and today I'm going to discuss about SES. So you guys must have heard about this SES, that's the reason that you are watching this video. So uh, today I'm going to tell you about more, more details about the SES software. So this is the basic SES software which I'm using, it's SES 9.2. And uh, first of all, I would like to tell you that why we have a need of SES. So you must have heard that most of the Fortune 500 companies are using CSS softwares. And the reason behind using this software is that it can handle millions, trillions of data very easily. Even it can be connected with big data also. So this is the reason that all of the Fortune 500 companies are using this. So according to the survey, 98% of the Fortune 500 companies are using this software. So let's take a deep look that what this software is all about and what are the basics. So today I'm going to cover the basics of this software and in the next session we will discuss about much more uh, details regarding the coding and other facilities. Okay, so here this is test 9.2. In the left side we can see that we have a result window here. So let me change the animation actually so that it can be highlighted properly. Okay. So here, all right. All right, so it will be easy to understand. Take a look on the items. All right, so here you can see that we have results in the left side and then we have Explorer. In the right side, we have output window, we have log, we have editor. So in the uh, menu, we can see that we have file. In file, we have any other file, just like any other uh, software, we have file option. It has new, close, new program, open program. You can import data from different, different uh, softwares, like uh, you can export and import data from Microsoft Excel. You can import data from DB2. You can import data from any other software. So there are a lot of softwares from which you can connect your cells and you can import the data. Once your data is ready, you can export your data again. So we will take these things in very detailed manner, but I'm just giving you a brief of these things. In the edit, we have undo, cut, copy, paste, delete, rename. So these basic commands are basically for performing the, while you are working on the coding part. So these are for performing the multiple operations. Then we have view. In view, you can see that we, it's more so regarding the Windows uh, related operation. So this is a Windows related test platform. So here we have enhanced editor. You enhanced editor can provide you more details regarding the coding. So while you are working, it can give you the hints and all. Then we have program editor. So this is normal program editor. So I prefer to use this program editor because once you once you start using the program editor, so you have each and everything you have to uh, sorry you have to write yourself. So that's the reason that I prefer to use this editor. Then we have log. Whatever program you run will be go, uh, the, all the details will go inside the log. Then we have the output, graph, so all of these things will be covered in detail. Then we have tools. Tool is basically regarding your table editor, graphics editor for the editing of text, images, and all these things. We have solutions. Solutions is basically once you start working on the analysis part. So you can see that you can work on 3D, visual analysis, enterprise miners you can connect with, you can work on time series here. So there are multiple things on which you can work. Then we have windows. Windows is more so regarding how your window will be looking, look like. So we have doc, we have explorer, you can resize your windows. We have results, editor, log, output. So multiple things we have. Then we have help. In help, you can go for the technical support, training services, which says provides free of cost. So you can go on these details as well. Okay, in the left side, now we have Explorer here. So in the left side, you can see that we have library. So what is library? First of all, we would like to understand what is library. So library is just like any other soft, uh, any other software or maybe I can take an example of day-to-day -day life. So what is the use of library? In library, we, we find all kinds of books. So suppose if you are a mechanical engineer, the other one can be computer and the next one can be electronic engineer. So what we do, we all of us go inside the library and we find our books. So how, because if books are not in an organized way, it will be really difficult to figure out that this book is for what purpose and it will take a lot of time. So what we do, 
for each and every branch we create sections like a particular section will be for computer science another section could be for mechanical and chemical etc so that is the reason that uh, in library we keep things in an organized way the same logic we use inside the cells and we create libraries so that we can keep our data set tables in an organized manner so that's the reason that we create multiple libraries here now we can see that we have ses help ses user these two libraries are permanent library and then we have work library work is a temporary library so permanent libraries are basically those libraries once you close your session your data will exist there but in case of temporary library work is an example of temporary library that is the only temporary library so whatever is uh, stored inside the temporary library that will exist till the session is open once you close the session that will be gone so this is the reason that we create temporary and permanent library so work is a permanent so temporary library keep in mind that work is a temporary library you can create your own library so in the later sessions we will discuss how to create the libraries in a detailed manner all right so now i come to the uh, point that what is inside the library so let's take a look on ses help in the ses help we can see that we have multiple tables and folders so let's take a look what is this important thing if you have an idea that how to work on microsoft excel then you know that microsoft excel we create uh, tables we have rows and columns in ses we call the tables as data sets and rows as observations columns as variables so if i open this any of this data set which is the table actually but in ses we will call it as a data set so you can see that it has around how many observation it has around 1088 observation and it has multiple uh, i'll count 3 and 6 it has six variables so these are called message id and line number level etc these are called variables and the 1 2 3 you can see these lines are basically observations and this is complete table is called data set now you will close this so this is how data is stored inside the ses you can open another data set this is data of air so it has gen it has international airline now i am going to tell you another important thing that how ses stores the data so it's very easy to understand that ses stores the data in uh, two ways it can be either numeric or it can be character for just in any other language you can have get multiple types of data but in ses you just need to keep in mind that it has only two types of data numeric and character so now if i ask you that if you take a look on this can you figure out that which is numeric and which is character so it's very easy hint whatever is inclined towards the right that will be your numeric whatever is inclined towards towards the left that is your character so that is the entropy question also all right so i'm closing these out and then i am moving to okay so now um, i'm just giving you a brief so i'm going to write a program so basically what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a data set data is basically a normal command and then i'm going to write the data set name in the data set name i'll set something like ses help dot air and run if i execute this so this is your uh, i'm just going to write this program to explain you that how this editor log and output works okay we in the next session we will discuss about like how we can work on the um, coding part and how this coding is all the same text all the details regarding the coding so okay i'm just switching proc print is basically printing this data on the screen okay this is just to tell you that how these output log and editor windows work so what i did here i created a data set named tem which is a copy of ses help dot air and then once this temp is ready i gave it a command i used a procedure here print is a procedure of ses built in procedure and then i asked it to print it so if i execute this okay so you can see output is on the output command output window 
Now we will go into the log and we'll check what happened here. So you can see there was 144 observation read from stairs health dot air. The data work dot temp has 144 observations and two variables. Proc print data equals to temp is basically for printing the data. So this is the use of log and here this is the use of output. Editor is basically for writing your commands, your data. So this is the reason that I showed you this program so that you can get an idea that, that how this output log and editor will look for. Now we come back to the results. In results, you can see that now we can see that we have a print and then we have a data set. If we click on this data set, we'll get the information regarding the data set. So this was a basic overview of this CES 9.2 tool. If you like my video, then please subscribe it and I'll be loading more videos soon to give you a brief of test technology. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye.